your name? I'm really not too hungry. <laughs> Weaver, what's yours? What's your first name, Weaver? Lowry, but nobody calls me that. Shit. Smell my cigarette. You know, the uh, cops say that only a terrorist could be doing what you're doing. You know, I'd like to haul my ass right over that wall. Why don't you? Too late. They know who I am. And I would like to strongly reaffirm that we are dealing almost certainly with a group of trained terrorists. Now, there is a danger. There is a danger in lending this situation a carnival air. These people have wantonly endangered lives, destroyed public property, and flagrantly broken the law. Yes. Commissioner, any break on the identity of this man? That's men, not man. We are presently utilizing all means to identify the perpetrators. Yes, sir. If this is a group and not a single man, why haven't they made demands? That is something that I... We, we have received what could be interpreted as a demand or threat. What the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't be more specific at this time for security reasons. There's money involved. We will have more for you as conditions permit. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Dix, what the hell is wrong with you? You could not fabricate that kind of thing. I just felt we needed something to bring the people back our way. And he did say the next time he would shoot to kill. Mister, you have got a lot to learn. No more surprises. You understand that? This whole thing is twisted enough without you helping it along. Come on, come on. Who's going to root for the underdog? I got the cops. Eight to three hours. Eight to three doesn't make the 72 hours. We're out here in the streets of Manhattan on this is the second full day of what has uh, come to be known as the Siege of Central Park. Speculation continues, uh, fueled by a statement made by Deputy Mayor David Dix concerning just who is in Central Park. What do the citizens of New York believe, sir? Uh, Elton Costanza, right? I'm from Queens, and uh, hey, I'm all for the guy. I see. You believe he's a uh, single person then? Huh? Oh, most definitely, yeah, absolutely. You see, what this guy is doing, you see, he's sort of speaking out for all of us, right? Right? Yeah. Only in America, right? Yo. Thank you very much, uh, ma'am. Uh, oh, uh, I believe what he's doing is wrong. I don't care how honorable his intentions. He's terrorizing this whole area, and I, for one, don't expect the authorities to let him have his way. Let him have his way. What is he doing is against the law, and he should not be encouraged. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. We have another uh, person right here. Uh, miss, uh, thank you very much. My name is Lona Shin. Miss you. And I can't tell you how it warms my heart to see a man with some gumption for a chair. I'm so sick of those moon-eyed, pencil-necked wimps running around on the TV, doing talk shows and everything. I just can't stand it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And what's more, I wish those cops would leave the poor boy alone. We don't care if they took over the park for a few days. Why should they? We pay for them, don't we? Well, thank you very much, Monsieur. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Hey, sir, it's inside. Just six dollars. Uh, now back to uh, the studio. That's better. Good. Go ahead. Well, one day I'm in the jungle watching all my buddies get blown away. The next day I'm driving into the 7-Eleven to buy myself a Slurpee, just like that. It's hard to readjust. My friend Mike used to say, nothing's relevant anymore. 
I mean, back over here, it's all about, I hope the bills get paid. I hope my old lady ain't mad at me, shit like that. It's, it's not even real. But this is real. Oh, yeah. This is real. Um, you were in the Marines? No. U.S. Army. What did you do in the Army? Sneak into places and blow shit up and kill people. You know, people heard what you said on the radio. They, they, they know why you're here. I don't. Dr. Mueller. Uh, perhaps, Commissioner, I should go last, yeah? Fine. General Bryan. In light of recent incidents, gentlemen, perhaps you'll reconsider the governor's offer. Technology, gentlemen, technology. There's a variety of infrared seismic intruder devices that can detect movement. The ANPPS ground radar can indicate a target to an accuracy of 25 yards. We have all kinds of infrared people snippers in our command. The department has all that equipment. With all due respect, General, that kind of technical operation takes time, and they're impractical on this type of terrain. We'd have to reroute subways, clear the streets for a half mile in either direction. We can't take that kind of time. One is well taken, Commissioner, but I have an alternative. Tiger sweep. Tiger sweep. Units of the 42nd Rainbow Division surround the parks. Teams of Mind detection personnel precede the column at various points. Now, as the ring tightens in and contact is made, the enemy either surrenders or is eliminated. It's a one-day operation. What about wire and booby traps? Won't that slow you down? Suppose it gets down into the sewer system and behind your column, General. You could be chasing them for weeks. Not a thrilling prospect. The guard will supply air surveillance. Thanks, sir. Remember Detroit in 67? Right, along the transverse roads and routes. If it gets really hairy, we can go in there with the M2s or the 57mm recoilless good, thing. Good, Think about good, it. Good, good, good. What's the kill rate? How much is this going to cost? Tiger sweep. Hell, it'll cost $10 million. The mayor won't stand for it. It'll be humiliating if we have to bring in the National Guard to take out one man. You've already been humiliated. May I, Commissioner? Central Park's 900 acres of heavily wooded, essentially flat terrain is cut into six roughly rectangular sections by transverse roads, yeah? We must reduce the area as a gorilla can occupy for cover in order to <clears throat> force him to reveal his position. Uh, the timetable I would describe would be repeated in each section. A C-123 provider drops fast acting defoliants on heavily wooded areas only. Defoliant. You can't burn away half the park. We can rebuild it safer, better. I like it. It's solid. Pam's been insane. He's already been in there 48 hours. I say uh, we give him the rest. Absolutely not. No man is going to hold this city up to ridicule. No man. We will remove him before the deadline. isn't a game. There aren't any rules. No code of the West. It's done. Just accept it.
Yeah. How you doing? Is this the guy I talked to before? This is the deputy mayor, yes. <laughs> so you're calling me now. What do you want, big boy? I want you to surrender your weapons and come out of there. And we can talk. Address some of the issues that seem to bother you so much. We already had this conversation. I'm coming out of here when I want to, how I want to. Look, we have the entire park perimeter surrounded. How do you expect to walk away? I did it before, didn't I? What are you calling me for anyway? What is this shit? They're trying to kill us. Yeah. They're gonna have to do a lot better than that. Move off down the hill. Move. What do you mean, neither of them? You mean there's another person in there? All right. Sniper spotted another person in there with him. Are they positive? Yeah. All right. Let's keep that information to ourselves. He could be a hostage, but he hasn't tried to use him. That'd be his partner. Either way, we gotta go ahead. Time's running out. doing it again. I do not believe it. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm really stupid? You know who it is? No idea, but he's persistent. Whoever's calling hasn't hung up yet. Nobody's answering. And the guy in the park answers. I put a trace on the call. Maybe they saw me. I'm gonna talk to them. I gotta answer this. Who's this? Is this the park? Yes. It's your wife. God damn it, I told you not to call me here. Who was that who answered the phone? That was a woman. No shit. Well, what's a woman doing in there with you? She's not a woman. She's a news person. She's videotaping everything is all. I'm scared. I'm so scared. What, what did you do it for? It's my fault. Is it my fault? It is, isn't it? It's nobody's fault. What are we going to do? Baby. I got this insurance policy. It ain't much, but it'll get you started again. That's it. I want all lines to the park cut off right now. Those bastards! They play another trick on us. It ain't gonna be funny. Let's go. Oh. 